Hello and welcome to my video on how to start your shoe design. So basically I should have already gone over this in class on how to kind of start designing your shoes but this is going to be a quick video for those of you who might forget a step or you weren't in class that day. So what you want to do is you want to go to your save file of the shoe. So one of these shoes should be in your V drive so you can always access it in your handout folder. So you're going to click and drag this file onto the page. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold shift and then I'm going to rotate my shoe around so that it'll go to exactly 90 degrees. You can always just type in 90 degrees at the top here, but as you can see mine says minus 90 degrees because I'm going the opposite way, so you got to include that 90 degrees as well. Uh, what you're going to do next is you're going to expand the border of the blue shoe, so this is your transformation border here, and you're going to make it as big as possible onto the page, and then you just got to click enter. Alright, now if you don't uh, have it to the right size uh, and you lose that blue border, you can always press Control T to bring your transformation borders back up. All right, and then you can make it to the size that you need. So this is about a good size and I'm gonna press this check mark or press enter. Perfect, all right, the next step that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click on the words of this layer and I'm gonna click rasterize layer. Make sure you don't click on the picture because you get a completely different drop down menu. So make sure you're clicking the, the text layer and you go to rasterize layer. All right, now that this layer is editable, uh, I want to decide where I want to put my texture. So I'm going to put flames in the sole of my shoe here, all right? So we need to actually get some flames. So you just got to go to Google Images. You're going to find a texture or, uh, you know, a background image that you want to put. So I want to go with these flames. So I'm going to right click, oop, not save image, my bad, sorry. I'm going to right click and copy image. I'm going to go back here and I'm going to make a new layer. So I'm going to go to this button right here that says create a new layer. And then I'm going to slow double click on layer one and call it flames. Perfect. So now having the flames layer selected, I'm going to press control V to paste my flames on there. And then just like we did with the shoe, we want to make these flames bigger to the size of the sole. So you want to cover the entire sole here, right? So I got to make this image the same size as my sole. So I'm going to press control T to transform. And then I'm just going to make the flames much, much bigger. I know they look pixely right now, but as soon as you press enter, they will render. All right. So now that my flames are the same size as my shoe, now I can actually start editing and cutting out and putting the flames inside my sole. So I'm going to click back on the shoe layer. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the quick, uh, the magic wand tool. So if you right click on this tool here, you'll have object selection, quick selection, and magic wand. We're going to work with magic wand because it's going to, it works very well with these shoes. So with magic wand selected, I'm going to click the inside of my sole. And now you can see that my selection has picked the inside like so. But here's the issue. As you can see, my selection also uh, happens to grab some of my black border lines. Now this is important. When we design our shoes, I want you guys to keep all the black border lines in your shoe so you guys can see each distinct part of the shoe. So I don't want to select right up to my border, as you can see, because you can see some pixels have not been selected. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to select, I'm going to go to modify, and then contract. Now I'm going to contract about by about two or three pixels. Now when I press OK, you're going to see my selection get slightly smaller. All right, just like that. So now you can see my selection goes right, uh, does not go right to the border. It actually keeps the entire black border for me because now I'm working with everything inside of this sole of the shoe. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the flame layer back to visible. And then you can see that my selection is still there. So everything inside my selection here is what I'm going to copy and paste. You, If you have the cursor that I have right here, which is this white pointed and the 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 square marquee looking tool you can actually move your cursor your selection around to an exact spot that you want so i want a decent amount of flame so i'm going to go somewhere right about there all right i'm currently still on the shoe one layer i'm going to copy my flame so i got to make sure that i click on the flames layer i'm going to press Control c and then Control v and now a new layer has popped up above my flame so i'm going to make these flames invisible and i go to my move tool and layer one, I'm going to slow double click and I'm going to call this flames sole because it's in the sole of my shoe now. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move these soles into my sole. The flames into my sole. So I think right now I have, oop, excuse me, snap on. So I'm going to turn snap off so that I can move this around very specifically. And then if there's little movements that I need to do, like bring it down, I'm going to use the directional pad on my keyboard to just shimmy shake that sole down. Excellent. Okay, so now I got this 
flames in my sole. I got a little bit of space here, so I'm gonna use the directional pad again to just kind of press and move my flames over. Maybe just a little bit more, nice. Perfect, okay, so that's how you guys get really interesting texture and designs within your shoe. If you want, like let's say that this texture is way too bold, you can always change the opacity of your image. And as I bring it down, it doesn't get quite as uh, clear. So I'm just changing the opacity. But again, you gotta make sure that you have the layer that you wanna work with selected. Okay, cool. Uh, now I'm gonna show you one last thing, which is basically playing with gradients. All right, so I'm gonna go back to my shoe template because I wanna select certain parts that I wanna put gradients into. I'm gonna go to my magic wand tool. I'm gonna select this guy. I'm gonna hold shift. And holding shift allows me to select multiple things. As you can see, a plus sign has appeared beside my magic wand. So I'm gonna select this area too. So now I'm just working within these two areas. Again, I'm gonna create a new layer. I'm gonna slow double click. And I'm gonna call this gradient. And I'm gonna put some cool gradients in this and I'm gonna highlight my gradient level there. Perfect. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to this tool here. So it's usually where the paint bucket tool is. So if you have the paint bucket tool, just right click until you get to the this little menu and then pick gradient tool. Then I'm gonna go up here. Oh, sorry, to this part. And then I'm gonna go to my reds because I'm gonna stick with the theme of the flames. And I'm gonna click this little red uh, arrow that's beside it or the arrow beside the reds and I'm gonna see which kind of one would look good with those flames So I'm kind of thinking this one right here All right, once you have selected a good gradient that you want to work with you could always if you want Expand this menu so you can actually go through all the different colors that you have um, As you can see there's greens oranges purples blues, etc. You can explore on your own I got a cool looking gradient that I want so once I have the one that I want I'm going to click and drag a line across both of the two selections that I have. And I'm going to let go. Bang. So now my gradients are within the selections that I made. But I made a boo-boo because I'm kind of rushing here. My selections, oh, actually, it's not bad. My selection kind of doesn't go right to the border. So that might actually be okay. But if you start to put texture inside your shoes and they start to lose the color outline, the, the black border outline, then you need to go to select modify and then contract your selection so that your selection isn't as big all right i'm gonna press Control d to deselect just to see what my shoe looks like and ooh, not not the worst color it actually looks pretty cool with this gradient going from dark to light like so uh, i'm gonna go back to my flames layer my flame sole and i'm gonna turn up the opacity a slight bit because i don't think it needs to be that light nah yeah that looks much better now you can start playing around and start customizing all the colors are all the little pieces inside your design like for instance uh, these stripes right here I'm gonna pick all these stripes and as you can see these stripes for sure need to be contracted so I'm gonna go to select modify and contract and I'm gonna go by two pixels nice okay perfect and then I'm gonna go to my paint bucket tool and I'm gonna click on this little color palette here because I want to pick a, a good color and you know what, maybe it's kind of hard for me to select the exact orange that I want from the flames. So instead what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go to my eyedropper tool, which is this guy right here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna click this little eyedropper. And as I click that eyedropper, you can see that my palette has changed to the exact same color orange. Now I'm gonna go back to my paint bucket tool. I'm gonna go make a new layer and I'm gonna call this stripes. Now on my stripes layer, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna color in that selection like so and then I'm gonna press Control D and then as you can see by contracting my selection I don't lose the border in my black lines like so okay that should be enough for to get you guys started on creating your shoe play around with a couple designs even do the high top if you guys want but uh, basically that's what we're doing and logos um, NBA teams or NFL teams or sports team whatever you want you guys want to put onto your shoe you guys can definitely do as well um, good luck and have fun.